the way, I hand it over to Hayashi. Okay. So, uh, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> welcome to the special session today uh, uh, of Japanese games and culture. And my name is Masaki Hayashi. I'm from, uh, I'm a teacher of the Department of Game Design. And this special session is presented by a Conver Convergent Media La Laboratory. Uh, so let me introduce, uh, before the talk, uh, let me introduce about uh, Convergent Media Laboratory and plus background of this special session. And uh, as you know, uh, the G G Department of Game Design has a very, very strong uh, game education. And besides, we have research regarding game. And the Convergent Media Laboratory is, uh, is a research body and belong to the department. And uh, we are doing the research activities, several activities, and also uh, um, we're occasionally having a seminars and workshops and hosting conferences and international conferences and so on and so on. And this CML, in short, is uh, organized by three people, uh, Professor Stephen Batchelder, and the Professor Masayuki Nakajima, and uh, me, Masaki Hayashi. The interesting thing is that two of three are native Japanese. So that's a very unique point of the CML. And Stephen is American, as you know. And, uh, and we, uh, CML has a lot of uh, uh, collaboration uh, uh, internationally. And uh, for instance, France, UK, USA, Korea, China, and Indonesia and Japan. So um, uh, two of three, I mean, me and Professor Nakajima has, a, uh, it's a Japanese, so we have a lot, very strong connections in the uh, uh, Japanese universities and Japanese industries. So that's why uh, we're, <coughs> uh, this time, uh, as a special session, we uh, invite Prof Professor Kishimoto from Tokyo University of Technology and at Tokyo University of Technology and uh, Uppsala University Campus Gotland, we department of game design are doing a lot of activities together uh, in regarding game education and also uh, research and a lot of activities and exchange students and stuff and so on. And this, uh, this time we have Professor Kishimoto as a speaker and introducing Jap Japanese game on culture. So, okay. So I will introduce Professor Kishimoto briefly before his talk. And uh, you will see that guy shortly. And uh, he's a <coughs> associate professor of uh, Tokyo University of Technology. And uh, he became a professor uh, about four years ago. And uh, until then, he had been working in the Japanese game industry for many years, I think it's 29 years, so it's a quite a long time. And he produced a lot of, lot of, lots of, lots of uh, Japanese games. And uh, I've heard that one of, one of his, uh, one of the games he produced sold more than two million copies. And he told me that he's, an, he's not a rich man, but probably, I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> but. He produced a lot of Japanese games, and he had been many years in the Japanese game industry, and he be became, uh, he switched from industry to uh, education. So uh, that means that he has a, a very strong competence uh, for both uh, education and industry regarding game. And uh, today he will uh, present about uh, video games and Japanese culture. So please welcome. Professor Kishimoto. Hi. Today I wear the Japanese traditional festival costume. So it's called e happy. Happy in Japan is the same pronunciation as happy. Okay.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Yoshihiro Kishimoto. Call me Yoshi. You know the Mario's game, Yoshi? Mm. It's a bit similar name. Uh, I'm a game designer and researcher. I'm uh, researching uh, gamification and game design at Tokyo University of Technology. I'm happy to have uh, this opportunity to speak to you. Today, I'd like to talk about video games and Japanese culture. My talk has 10 parts and will take about 40 minutes. Here, the 10 things I will talk about today. Part one, who am I? I'm from Japan. I'm from Tokyo. Four days ago, I flew from Tokyo to Stockholm. Two days ago, I arrived in Besby by a ferry. Then, today, I'm here and talking to you. Good luck. Good pronunciation. Uh, before I move into the main subject, let me tell you about my career. I worked as a game developer for 29 years. I have been designing games since before the Nintendo Entertainment System existed. First at Namco, the company that made Pac-Man, you know? Yes. And after that at Koei, the company that made the Dynasty Warriors, you know? Oh. But now, I'm working as a professor and researcher at Tokyo University of Technology. Here's some of the 60 games that I have developed. Mappy, Parkland, Bloodduck, Toy Pop, Family Stadium, Prime Goal, Neighbor Ops, Dynasty Warriors, Romance of Three Kingdoms, Opuna, Neo Angelic, and seat navigators, and so on. Part two. Do you know Japanese games? Let me begin my presentation by asking you, do you like video games? Yes. Please raise your hand if yes. Ah! Wow. <laughs> it looks like everyone answered yes. Next question. Have you ever played Japanese video games such as Super Mario or Pokemon? If you, please raise your hand if yes. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it looks like all of you have played Japanese games. Tak. I took a survey of more than 80 GDC participants before coming here. Here's the result of my survey. First, Japanese games. 
97% of participants knew Super Mario. I wonder who's the last 3% are. Ninety-three percent of participants knew Pokemon. I wonder who the last seven percent are. Forty-eight percent of participants knew Final Fantasy. <laughs> Next is the Japanese animations. 90% of participants knew the Pokemon, and 89% of participants knew the Dragon Ball. <laughs> and 88% of participants knew the Naruto. <laughs> then Japanese culture. More than 80% of participants knew the manga, sushi, samurai, ninja, cosplay. I'm happy that everyone knew so much Japanese games, animations, and culture. Here is a list of the 10 best-selling games franchises. In 10th place is uh, The Sims, 9th is Mario Kart, 8th is FIFA, 7th is Final Fantasy, 6th is Sonic the Hedgehog, 5th is Star Wars, 4th is Grand Theft Auto, 3rd is Call of Duty. And 2nd is Pokemon, and 1st is Super Mario, congratulations. <laughs> okay, as a side, uh, the result of a questionnaire in Japan. Do you know Swedish games? Yes. What do you think? <laughs> okay, result. 78 part of Japanese students knew Minecraft. <laughs> of course, I'm playing it. Next, 44% of Japanese students knew Battlefield. And 8% of <laughs> Japanese students knew Gold Simulator. <laughs> and Swedish <laughs> culture, 39 of Japanese students knew IKEA. <laughs> IKEA is very famous in Japan. <laughs> OK, part three, both of the Super Mario and Pokemon. Nintendo Entertainment System was released in Japan in 1983. It was high performance for that time, and the price was low. NES sold very well in Japan. Later, it was also released in the United States in Europe. Super Mario Brothers was released in Japan in 1985. It also sold very well in Japan. It was released in the United States same year and in Europe two years later. Super Mario was a NES sold 40 million units worldwide. The series as a all for all 30 games has sold 290 million units worldwide. That is 30 units per person in Sweden. Super Mario Maniac Quiz. What is the title of the first game Maria appeared in? 
you know? Jump man. Boo boo. <laughs> Donkey Kong? Mm. Correct. <laughs> Donkey Kong was an arcade game published in 1981 by Nintendo, but Mario did not have a name yet. Pokemon was released in Japan in 1996 for the Game Boy. A few years later, it was released in Europe. The Pokemon was a Game Boy sold 31 million units worldwide. The series as a for all 42 games has sold 212 million units sold worldwide. Pokemon Mania Quiz. Who is the 151th Pokemon? If, if you know, raise your hand. Okay. Mew, is that correct? Correct. <laughs> Part four, Japanese 2000 years old culture. Japanese video games has been bring together technology and uh, creativity for 30 years. The picture on the left is a motherboard from the NES. The picture on the right is a package design from Super Mario. I believe that Japan was able to create such a unique games because it, of it 2,000 years old culture. Japan is located at the edge of East Asia and has been isolated from the world for most of its history. It is written about the Japan in old Chinese document. Uh, to Thousand years ago, gold seal from China was found in Japan 200 years ago. Japan has maintained the same culture and language in a way which set it apart from other countries. It is here that we can find the source of what makes Japanese games special. Part five, Kamisama. Shinto is, is a polytheistic belief unique to Japan. The gods of Shinto are called Kamisama and they were based on the nature. For example, there is a mountain kamisama because there is a lot of food in the mountains. In Christianity, God made only one world but does not live with the human in it. Kamisama lives in the same world as the humans and many other worlds existed. In game and animates, Japanese people try to make new world just like the Kamisama. Part six, Kanji. Kanji was invented in China and brought to Japan. In English, the word tree, woods, forest, all have different spelling and they look nothing alike. 
in kanji, the words are all written with the same character. It is a just repeat. The kanji for tree comes from the shape of tree. The kanji for woods is two tree put together. And the kanji for forest is the three trees put together. The next example is the kanji of for rabbit. The picture on the right is a kanji for a rabbit. In ancient times, the rabbit was said to be an animal quick to run away. So the kanji for a rabbit comes from the shape of the rabbit running away. Mario's original pixel art was designed similar to the way kanji was designed. He was designed to be a simple, easy to recognize character, its style called super deformed. The Japanese release the American games Road Runner change the main character to be a super deformed character because Japanese people like super deformed characters. I want to, to think about the question. What are some other games title that you think include super deformed character like Mario? both Japanese games and games of other countries. I ask you the questionnaire after GGC. Part seven. Shogi. The picture on the left is chess and the picture on the right is Japanese chess called shogi. Shogi has a board similar to the chess board. The pieces also move similarly to chess piece. But shogi has a special system influenced by Japanese culture. The player can capture the enemy pieces and turn its allied pieces. The pieces on the low right have been captured. The player can now use these pieces. Pokemon replace a piece with a monster. That the same system is used. Part eight, Japanese picture scrolls. This Japanese scrolls, picture scrolls was drawn in 800 years old. A personified rabbit and frog wrestle. Some, of, some people think of this as uh, Japan's oldest comics, manga. Rabbit is shooting an arrow with a ball. Another picture roll drawn in 1800 years ago and it is the story of the Olson case. The story advanced on the picture roll when it is found.
It is said to be the Japan's oldest animation. Kamisama, Kanji, Shogi, Picture All, though these are the roots of Japanese games, manga, and animation. Part nine. We moved on to the part nine. I will show you the, the movie of games made 30 years ago in Japan. Most of you have not been born yet, right? These are the games that I made, and the prayer is me. Parkland was sold in 1984 by Namco. Earlier, Pac-Man had made a big hit in United States, and uh, animation was made. Parkland was based on the animation, so we made the main character movement to look like those animated cartoons. in Akihabara. Sorry to... My voice is in Japan, Japanese. So, 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 so. まあ、こういうの流行りだったよね、あの当時。ああ、隠れキャラとかそういう。隠れキャラ。いろいろありますけど、やっぱ。これとあれなんだっけ、ドルワーガーがほぼ同じ時期ですね、発売が。制作者自
in the science fiction movie, Alien. I want to think uh, the question, how would you do a remake Baraduk to be launched outside of Japan now? Baraduk was sold only in Japan. Game platform, game system, graphics, etc. So. これもね、全然バラデュークって発,発売直前にタイトルが決まるっていうこれねだからタコバスターだったんで、うん、私が作ってタコバスター最後まで誰も何も言わなかったんで開発中だからキッシーとタッキーでやってた普通は上司が言うじゃない、えー、なんだこれみたいなって言,言われるんだと思ってたけど言われなかったからそのままにそう桂野さんの曲だよね慶野さんらしい曲で,でこれ思い出したけど何言ってるか分かんないから文字で出して「怪物ランド」ってみんなに言われてで誰もあいみょんフレンドに」って言ってくれなかったからあの最後に「なんあいみょんフレンド」っていうのを表示するようにした。私が考えたんで私ねこういうの好きな映画のエイリアンの影響はすごい受けてるよねこれねこのぐしゃってしたエイリアンみたいなあんなぐじゅぐじゅってしたのを表現したかっただけどやっぱりその当時のこのハードの性能だとできなかったんでこれはオウムだよねあれでかいですよ当時でかいですよねキャラクター面だよねあの目の,目のところだけがオブジェクトで、うん、ほらほらほら出た出たキッシーだすごい<笑>あ,すごいてあれ打って倒すの<笑>キラ派手派手派手凝ってるよねこれねナイスゲームトゥー。OK、NEXT。ファミリースタジアム for NES was sold in 1986 by Namco。It's、uh, one of the most famous baseball games in Japan. You can see the super deformed character in it. うん、そこにこの基本の画面は最初からもうこれでいこうってなってたこれしかできなかったからあの当時はすごいオールマスシンプルに必要なものが入ってて<笑>だって実はね<笑>ベースボールでベースボール1塁と2塁の,、えー、とそのアンツーカーのラインってまっすぐなわけがないんだよ本当はね、はいはい、だけどこれは最初リアルに書いたら変だったんだよあ,あそうなんだねえあとで手直ししてあっすごいね連,連打線だね連打線で15分で終わるようにって作ったの、えー、だからあのお昼休みに30分でお弁当を食べれば2試合できる1試合でダメだよ2試合できるああなるほどあの任天堂のベースボールは遊んでらしたやったやったやったその辺散々やった散々任天堂のベースボールとあとセガのグレートベースボールですーバースですよーバースしたいほらこっちに打ってもホームランホームランすごいねーバースは強すぎる <laughs> Thank you. Part 10 The Global Mass Project. Finally, I'll close by telling you about one of the, my current research projects the development of global mass, a worldwide platform for games, 
which teaches mathematical thinking skills. Global math platform made by Japanese number one educational company, Benese. So what is a global math? It is a platform for math games where you can learn things, skills. Players in any age group can play math games and creators can resist it and share games from any place in the world who are free. 90 games that we produced since 2012. We are going to make over 20 games until March next year. We are expecting games from other countries too. Now, please watch the video message from Japan.
Okay. You can play these games outside after my presentation. I introduced you. Okay. I hope that you make more innovative games like Minecraft. And I hope you will come to Japan. Thank you for listening. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's amazing that he's a great game producer, and at the same time, he's a great entertainer. So I didn't, Entertain. I didn't know that. <laughs> I think it's, it's like a gamification, I think. So, so uh, yeah. So, so I'll ask you a question and comment. Anybody? Please. That's it. My English is not good, a ah, little bit not good, so please ask me the simple word and slowly. Okay? Does anybody? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Konnichiwa. I was wondering what inspired you to uh, get into the industry in the first place? I mean, you started very, very early on. I just was curious how you got into this. Good question. <laughs> Please. When I was a university student, I'm a, is a, is a stupid student. So I, I'm running the programming, but I'm stupid. So it's difficult to get a good job. In, in unbelievable, that time the Namco is a very small company in Japan. Because the Nintendo Entertainment System is not existed, just an arcade game. So I I enter to Namco. It's easy to get a job in game company. It's different from uh, now. It's okay? Yes. Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> So, hello. Um, hello. I had a question about Baraduke. Baraduke? Um, you said it, it was only released in Japan, but the text in the game that you showed was in English. Mm -hmm. Was there a reason for that? Ah, good question. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's a good question. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a... Uh, is all times uh, is uh, long. Memory is uh, very small. I can't uh, use uh, Japanese hiragana, katakana, kanji. Is uh, not enough. So I just use uh, English uh, character. So it's tw uh, twenty-six. So yeah, that's mm. good. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know that. <laughs> Good question. Yeah. <laughs> because, because you know, the kanji consumes a lot of memories. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, 
I feel like we see a lot of uh, uh, inspiration from Japan in uh, Western video games, mm -hmm. especially uh, like a couple of, or a decade ago or so, and in the indie scene. Uh, I wonder if you would say that uh, Japanese games are mm -hmm. now also taking influences from mm -hmm. Western games mm -hmm. as the uh, market shares are, are kind of shifting. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have anything to say about that? Mm -hmm. Good question! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know that Mario and uh, Pokemon is the uh, most famous games in the world. But uh, it, it's uh, three, 30 years ago or 20 years ago. In, in now, the world player uh, like the real game, very high graphics and uh, is the uh, same the real world. So Japanese people like the, for, for example, the deformated uh, other, other world. So now Japanese game is not, not good. But uh, I believe uh, Japan's uh, getting better in the future. So today I told you the Japanese culture. So Japanese game developer keeping the Japanese culture so, and uh, to make Japanese games in the future. I like that. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Um, arcade games uh, don't really exist in a lot of uh, countries. Mm -hmm. of, uh, they're not very big outside of Japan. Mm. Uh, is, or have arcade games always been very close to Japanese culture? Mm -hmm. And is that why uh, arcades still exist there? Good question. <laughs> yes, good question. My students love arcade game. But uh, in Japan, the arcade game is is sold is is uh, less. But uh, my student loves the game, loves the arcade games, fighting game, music game. So in Japan, the, the people love games, uh, get together in the arcade, and the, in the same feeling, and the same uh, play. But the, in Sweden, is not popular in arcade game. Is that cold? Cold weather? No. <laughs> okay. It's good. It's good. Answer. And I'm also curious uh, why are games like pachinko, uh, pachinko. so pachinko? Why they? are extremely popular in Japan, if I understand correctly. Uh, but I don't hear anywhere, anywhere else speaking mm. about them. Why are games like those so popular mm. in Japan? OK, good question. Pachinko. 
なんでこんなに日本だけアーケードゲームとかパチンコとか盛んになるかってその理由が知りたいと僕もちょっと見てやってるから僕から<笑> So from me <笑> Professor No, I I'm, I'm, I'm just a Japanese native person. <laughs> so, for me, is that the reason why is、uh, I think it's a,、uh, there is a very, in Japan, there is a very big contrast between job, I mean, working and playing. So, as you know, it's a, you know, Japanese salary man? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that they're working very hard during、yeah. the daytime, but after five, they go out and they get, get drunk. And, <laughs> and, you know, and talking to each other and being crazy and stuff. So, but it's in the, in the, during the daytime, they're very decent I mean,、uh, businessmen and very quite serious and tight. <laughs> so it's a very big contrast in Japan.、Mm. So, uh, but uh, I've, I've been living in Tokyo for 50 years and three years in Sweden. There is a very big contrast. I see it. Actually, I see it. So, Probably arcade game and pachinko stuff is,、uh, is coming from that contrast between work and play. So that's my opinion. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Can I get your. One? Hello? Is time, time is okay. Okay, okay. okay.、Uh, one last question, man.、Um, could you tell us how the independent game scene looks、mm. in Japan versus、mm -hmm. the big companies?、Mm. Ah, mm. independent game.、Mm. Uh, I don't think, I, I, I don't like the almost of my students. Want to be an employee, big game company. For example, the, is a Nintendo or Bandai Namco Entertainment, Sega. Sega. But the, now is a, is a, is a few, few people make a game. And released to the、uh, Apple and Android. But the, most of my students want to en join the is a big company. So、um, in Japan, independent game is, is not popular, but the, I hope it's getting bigger. I got them. Thank you. Welcome. More question? <laughs> I throw. <laughs> So, I have a question、uh, about the、uh, global math、uh, global project、math. you are、uh, with. Uh, <laughs> uh, I saw that it was in uh, Japanese. Uh,、mm -hmm. Do you release、uh, games in other languages as well?、Mm. Because I know there are a lot of、uh, math problems and,、uh, around the world. People、mm -hmm. have problems learning math.、Uh, And I also want to know what ages are you aiming、mm -hmm. the games for?、Mm -hmm. Good question.、Yeah. Uh, sorry, Jap global math is,、uh, is non verbal and、uh, English because、uh, I want to play the games is,、uh, worldwide. But the video message is a、uh, step robot, is,、uh, is water. Moves to the flower is、uh, Japanese. But the, that game you are、uh, uh, can play the Japanese, English, and、uh, Chinese, and、uh, Koreans, 
and uh, I forgot the more. So you can make you can you can make uh, in English or it's better is a non-verbal. For example, the the sugoi ninja is no no word in the game, no word, just uh, elas elasted. So it's very good. So please yeah, uh, make the, the, the games. Yeah, okay. So you? the <laughs> the last question there. Uh, yeah. So what age groups are the games for? Do you have for higher education or is it lower education? Yeah, uh, Global Mass is, uh, for is the main target is uh, elementary student. It's, it's very similar to the child and the games. So I want to make the educational games in Japan. But the educational games isn't popular in Japan. The entertainment game is very popular in Japan, but the educational game is not popular in Japan yet. So I want to uh, be popular educational game in Japan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we have some more time, so if you have questions. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Hello. Hello. Uh, I was wondering, uh, how do you look at the Japanese game uh, companies then and now? Then now? Then and now. I think the Ah, same, but the, when I was uh, uh, 30 years ago, I developed the Parkland, the, the member of the four, four people make the Dutch game, and hardware, hardware, I'm a programmer and designer and uh, planner, and the, it's a, Family Stadium, the best game, is almost made uh, only one, on, only me. It's uh, I game design and programming graphics. So now the, the game is a very big, like the Hollywood movie. It's the same in Japan. So for example, the, is the PlayStation 4's games uh, are making the over 100 members of developer making uh, the game. So one programmer making the few part. But the thing I was making Family Stadium, I programming the all. I think it's a, it's a different in a developer in the old and now. どうもありがとう。<笑>ありがとうございます。Anything else? So, okay. Yeah. <笑> Hi. Hi.、Uh, I feel that there is a different、uh, there is a different view on、uh, voice acting. Uh, when you think about Japanese games and Western games,、mm. uh, if you think games like Call of Duty and stuff like that, there is often a lot of、uh, voice acting present and not much text.、Mm -hmm. While in a lot of Japanese games, like a lot of RPGs and stuff like that, there is often a large amount of text、uh, with few cutscenes and a little voice acting.、Uh, is that a cultural thing, or what do you think、uh, is the reason? That voice acting is less present in Japanese games. Good question. <laughs> voice acting. But voice acting.、Uh, voice acting means that. that、uh, yeah, it speech sound, speech sound、okay. instead of text. 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 Text.
進めるのっていうかあるじゃないですか、うんうん、日本はテキストで他の国はボイスに登録できるとか声を伝えるとか日本とかカルチャーの違いがあるんですか Maybe it's... Mm. But the Japanese,、uh, Japanese games,、uh, J- uh, Japanese player loves、uh, is a voice game. In, in Japan, it's a、uh, seiyu. So it's、uh, just uh, it's, uh, uh, voice, voice act, just voice act, no, not play, just voice act. It's、uh, very popular. And、uh, some of the games, The, for the women, the love games. Do you understand? Love games is getting the good boy. So、uh, it's that, that type of the games. Very important is the is 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 man is selected the good boy actor. So, I think、uh, Japanese player love the voice game. I think so. But maybe text is quite popular in Japan because people are really like writing and chatting.、Mm. So, uh, uh, I think the text is a very, very、uh, core part in Japanese culture. And that's one reason that I hit in my mind. And then also,、uh, Japan has a very strong、uh, visual culture.、Mm-hmm. And the text is not visual culture, but the text contains kanji, as you、yeah. know.、Mm. And he showed the kanji, where the kanji is coming from. It's quite visual. So,、um, probably, visual thing is very dominated in Japan's, Japanese culture. So, that's one, could be the one reason. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. One more question. One more question. This one will be wrong. Okay. No? No? Then, <laughs> let's. Okay, so I、uh, would like to uh, uh, close this session. And a very, very interesting、uh, story and, and talk from Professor Kishimoto and a good question and discussion.、Mm. So thank you for everything. Thank you very much. Thank you.